of the situation in Georgia, then it was another situation. Then it was another situation. Then it's, it's constant. It's on and on and on and on. Does anybody have five names of Caucasians or European Americans that were shot that were unarmed? And it was something that happened like that. If you can give me their names, I'll say their names too. But until then, shut your fucking mouth. Because you can't. You can't give me that. <clears throat> That's what it is, man. So, uh, you know, let's stay diligent out here. Let, let, let's not get too emotional. Let, let's make sure we, we stay educated about what we're doing. Uh, Mr. 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 Right. Mr. Winchester out there. Stay, stay scoped up, but, but stay trained as well. Um, yeah, you got to also be know how to shoot. I think that when I saw Pedro's show me his uh, – his targets when he first started. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> killed children and it was like he he, he he killed a bunch of other cars like that was like around him while fucking was shooting that. It's so small. How did he shoot? <laughs> How did you shoot a toy? Yeah, but if you look by then I saw your latest one and you said from five feet to seven feet, you were much better. And I think that, you know. Uh, people have to realize when you do get the gun, because I'm one of those people that I'm one of those people. I want to hold it sideways. I don't know why the fuck. I just want to hold it, <laughs> which is just so stupid. Because you really can't, it Man, doesn't. That's not how people you shoot. I I I, intro, I tried to introduce my gun to my sister just so she could get uh, comfortable with it. What's up, Veggie Connection? I see you. And this motherfucker. What's up, y'all? Took, took the gun fully unloaded. It was, it was safe or whatever, but. She was like, kill shot, and <laughs> just totally did sideways. I was like, nigga, stop. I had to, I had to disarm her ass. Give me the gun. Give me back. That's why I don't give it to you. I did no, but, <laughs> but I think that if you look at the situation, oh, uh, because, yeah, oh, no, he's not a gangster. Um, no, let me tell you what it is. is if you look Come at on. those names, if you look at the amount of names, and Dejan is on those names now, um, but if you look at Blake, if you look at George Floyd, if you look at Sandra Bland, if you look at Tamir Rice, think about Rihanna. how many names, and we keep adding names. Rihanna. And this one is a new one. He's 29 years old. He was, tw he was a, his life hadn't even really started yet, to be real with you. At 29, that's what I consider. At 29, you're not, you haven't started yet. And he's on the list now. And it's fucked up. And, and I don't see how people try to come up with all these rationale like, well, you know, if he wouldn't have did this, if he wouldn't have did that, it's always if he wouldn't have. What about if the cop wouldn't have been trigger happy and then leave that day because some black dude apparently fucked his wife and he decided, I'm going to kill a nigga today. Because some of them leave the house on some mad shit. Like, somebody going to get it today. And I don't like black people. And Black Pedro, you already your first name's already black, so I'm going to get you. And your last name's Pedro, so I'm knocking out two things at one time. We could get the border. Never yeah. Back. Yeah, so think about that. And 29 years old. 29 years old. McClain, Fuck right. me. That's so, yeah, we, we, we'll, we'll see how this unfolds. But uh, Dijon Kizzy, y'all, 29 years old. Um, riding mm -hmm. bike, pulled over for vehicle code violations on a, on a bicycle. And it's like, with all this shit going on, really, I mean, what, what was this nigga doing? A wheelie on the 105 freeway? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, come on, stop. So, um, yeah, right. Uh, but the point is, if you got a gun and you're carrying it around, you got to be really, 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 really smart about that. Um, not that he did anything wrong. I'm just saying that they, 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 that's all they need is to see it. The second they see it, and then, and then, they know and then, that. because that's what happened to Philando Castile. He told them, he said, like, I legally have a gun and it's in the thing. And then they shot him like he had a gun. It's like, but nigga, he took like, that, so, that, yeah, but I understand that. No, I know you're right. You're right. Yeah, I, I just feel like I, the, the list is getting to is, is so long. And this is the list that we know about. This is not even the list that we don't know about are the people that weren't caught on camera with their knee on somebody's neck. Think about how many people probably that happened to, you know, so whatever the case may be. Oh, somebody said Viva La Diva said the, the violation, the code violation, cycling while black. And that is a lot of people said that. They said it about this situation because there's so many situations where the cops were involved. And that's what pertaining to defunding the police is not 
is have somebody else handle it when there's a cat in a tree. You don't need to call the cops. You don't need to call the cops. Uh, uh, cycling. He's cycling. Oh, he's selling lemonade. Oh, you know, he's sleeping in the dorm. We got to have four cops show up for a woman that was at a prestigious college sleeping in the dorm. And four cops showed up like she was beating white babies or she was taking white babies and using them to bowl with. Like, just take a little white baby and bowl it. Ah, strike. That, that's what I'm saying. It's hey, bullshit. So, and, and Pedro, now that I, I'm going to stand in behind Pedro because Pedro can shoot <laughs> Even before he was, my I would have stood behind him because he just, he just shot me. Dog each and every day. Uh, Ms. Abram said. Yeah, but at first I was like, oh, well, that <laughs> Pedro, that's not a good look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro's got a gun. And then, after a while, I was like, yeah, man, if some shit go down, everybody get behind Pedro. Probably That's what I'm going to do. Here, <laughs> <Come in>. um. <laughs> oh, but, oh, yeah, let me make sure to let y'all know that uh, with Savage AF, uh, sometimes we have to remind people, on Friday, Mondays and Fridays, it'll actually be 3 p.m. to uh, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And also, make sure that you uh, check us out Tuesdays through Thursday, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Just going to make sure that I remind you about that. Also, I just put a flyer and information about that out on the gram and also on Facebook. Sorry. Mm, I put it on Facebook to promote. So, uh, which now I got to stop you know doing that because Pedro you know what's says though. So. Plus, he got you know Gertrude. about publicity, Mag, is that uh, when she does, uh, when, when it does uh, log on, uh, they always have to bounce, and they, they they proclaim to be the blackest motherfucker on here, but then they always have to bounce to go watch the Big Bang Theory. Yeah. And that's, you know. <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go watch yeah, Friends. Like, I'm going to watch the Malcolm <laughs> X Chronicles. So like, no, she's like, I'm going to watch the Big Bang Theory. Bye. No, you're not. Yeah. Bye, bye. You're going to watch Fox you News. Your that, that bastion of fucking idiot dude. Um, uh, I know we're probably getting close to the end of this hour, man. But uh, uh yeah, we got we got about four uh, minutes. But uh, I don't know if you want to do some extra time tonight, man. I did I did begin a little bit of research on the not fucking around coalition. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I I went on I went on a couple of sites and read some articles and some stuff about them. So, the, the, and and this is one problem is that. So far, you can only read about them, and I'm not reading from them so far. Like, their website specifically um, seem to be more of a, a, a shop for uh, paraphernalia and other services, uh, which I'm not, you know, they were they seem to be Black-owned businesses and, and entities, so great. Um, but other than a YouTube clip, and they do have an official YouTube page, um, of their march on D.C., Washington, D.C., that is, um, where, and I believe this was the founder, and, oh, shit, let me look up his name again. It's like John J. I saw the, I like saw the YouTube John videos of him. Gerald yeah. Johnson. <laughs> this nigga got so many J's in his name. Um, but but <laughs> from, from that video, what I gained, and I was, I was trying to, I was going to try and play it for you guys, but I had connectivity issues, is that, um, you know, he, he he was declarative about not being um, Black Lives Matter, you know, sort of not being that NAACP, but being, and he said this, we are your new Black Panther Party, uh, which wasn't the new Black Panthers, right, which is a, another organization. But, but another organization, right, right. I had ties to that. You know, I, I'm still working all of that out. Um but but what seemed to be their main goal was that we are not here to you know uh, sing or pray or or really protest right we they are here to back up Black Lives Matter and any other movement that is out here doing that peacefully. They're, they 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 you know his his very clear stated purpose from what I they are there to back all of that up with something else, which I, I do appreciate. I, I, I would like to hear a little bit more philosophy from them in writing in terms of like, you know, what their actual mission is. Um, but he said it verbally in this clip, but I, I think they should put it in writing on the, right. on the site, but that they are here to back these movements up, which 
I think is something I've been talking about. We've been talking about is just like these layers of of a movement, right? That it's not just vote and then sit back, or it's not just go protest and then not vote and then sit back. You know what I mean, but it's right. like go do all of the pieces and understand that we all serve our role in every level of it, right? So right, and and the, and the no fucking around coalition, basically. From the stuff from the stuff I saw, I read about them, but it wasn't from them. But I did look at the YouTube clips. It was pretty cut and dry, and I, I think that part of it is not putting it on the website. They want to kind of just show up and be fifteen hundred strong, and they all strapped and, and trained. Um, that was part of the thing that I got from the message from him. Like, what when shit go down and you need us here, we're gonna get you back. When we want to, we would step to the we, if, like you can't protest the clan without a possibility of some shit popping off, well, we'll be there too. How about that? And they did do that in Georgia, 1,500 deep. And the Klan was surprised. They were a little bit like, well, I didn't know they, God damn it, they're organized. This is bullshit. Normally we could scatter them. Scatter they a couple of niggas. But God damn it, these motherfuckers. Uh, Tom, yeah, Tom if GR you saw the video of it, yeah. they were on point. Yeah, no, Tom GR13 though said, uh, when they take out, white supremacist, uh, I'll be impressed. Uh, so here's the thing, and this is something that, um, you know, the, the, the leader of the NFAC, the Not Fucking Around Coalition said in this video is like, you know, to our white allies, um, he, he, he basically quoted Malcolm X, like, you can't join us, but you can help us. And he was like, talk to your people. And I know that's something I've said is like, Yo, like, we really need real-ass white people to, like, check crackers, right? Like, just like we need to check niggas, right? Like, niggas who want to shoot niggas and, you know, be on the south side of Chicago, right. or east side of Detroit, or west side of Detroit, for that matter, and, and fucking bucket each other so easily. Like, we all need to check that. But, like, these crackers need to check themselves, too. Like, white people need to check the crackers in their community. Because if you just have and not fucking around coalition, a bunch of paramilitary black people going at the KKK like that, right? It's just, it's just going to get spun as a slave revolt. Like, niggas went wild, right? Like, we just got fired. Right, yeah, they did. Like, a bunch of black militants that came after the pure white race and tried to hurt their that's feelings. Easy. Yeah, it's going to... So, I think that, I think that they... That, now, somebody said, uh, Lynette... Dot Kamara said the NFAC is a private is is private and they don't accept everyone who wants in, so they don't get infiltrated, which makes sense. I I, I said it. They, they basically were like, "No, nah, we fuck with you when like it's like we fuck with it when we need it." But other than that, you know, this is how we rolling. And so I saw said the, that they were ex-military shooters. So I was like, okay. I'm a shooter now, but I'm not ex-military, so maybe I'm not eligible to do their thing. Maybe I don't have the level of training that they're looking for, but I respect that because there's a bunch of black ex-military and current military that we need, uh, you know what I mean, that, that have seen it. Because I know there's I'm not, not even being in it, in the military, but I've been in military settings, and I know that there's racism within our military and sexism and, and all of these things. So, like, and and, okay. and the police department and the military and yeah, uh, it's society. America's founded on racism, but I I do I do like. They did give. They did give black. But I do like what they were saying, though, Pedro. I mean, I do like what they were saying. I do like in some of the YouTube clips. I do like what they were saying, and I do agree with it. But I think it's just another layer, another platform that we have, so we're a collective to go after. Obviously, want equality, but again, got to go with Kim Jones said. You lucky we looking for equality and not revenge, cause the way they've been acting lately. And when I saw that vi video footage of these motherfuckers up in um, Portland and Kenosha driving through with flags of Trump and American flag and you know shooting uh, paintballs at people on the sidewalk, um, it was clouds. Yeah, May yes, yes. They, uh, no beer. It was beer. I mean, were they used for beers? Um, that that's what they were spraying on people. But it's it's a it's like basically a tear gas they use on bears. Um, they were using that on people and they were uh, spraying them paint all 
It, and there was a, 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 a young black couple where the person got hit in the eye. You know, and it, they, and it wasn't a paintball. It was a marble. They're using marbles in the paint guns, which is basically, That's a you, could, you could kill somebody with that. If you're shooting glass in the paint. Yeah, so, I mean, and as usual, our fucking cunny, cunt, orange, cunt president came out and said, well, he came up with any excuse for them, came up with any excuse for this 70-year-old that went um, across state lines with a legal gun that he shouldn't have fucking had and made an excuse for him. And this motherfucker might actually have a million dollars in funding pertaining to his defense. People have sent money in for him. And, he, and even on his Facebook, or it was an Instagram, where he said, bruh, I'm trying to be famous. And now he's famous. He's famous for killing. I think he killed two. He injured one, right? But he killed two people. Is that right? Say it again. Wait. Ask that question. I was reading a comment. Ask that question again. No, no, no. It's okay. He killed two people. Oh, yeah. And he injured one. Or was yeah, it? Like blew, blew was it two people? Together. Two killed two. That's oh, he, so he injured. Okay, right. So what I'm saying is, and people are saying, well, he's young. He doesn't know. I saw a video of him. He seemed like he knew. He seemed like he pretty much knew. I don't know. I mean, I, I can't oh, no, yeah. I can't buy that bullshit. I think, yeah, no, it's they, bullshit. They I think that he, he did know how to use he, the gun. He was congratulated he, for his presence by the police, him and others. So they, they, they love him. Yo, listen to this, Shane. Right. Oh, well, yeah, I saw the video where they said they gave him water. We really and said, appreciate we're really guys. happy you guys are here or something like that. Really appreciate you guys. Yeah, uh, so Lynette, it's, that's Lynette why I, I got mad at the NFAC. I got mad at the NFAC, and I think we do need people like that because you don't think that, uh, uh, that, that there's European Americans itching for it. They've been, been training in the woods and militias and flags, and we're going to go up to Michigan and walk right into our fucking House of Representatives with our guns and no mask on and start yelling right in the cop's face. Not one person pushed me. Or I start firing on them. Firing. That's, I mean, that's what they did. So, uh, Lynette Kamara said, uh, Pedro, you can apply, and they, meaning the NFAC, will let you know if you're accepted or not. But they're going to test you, and your celebrity status would be the most likely reason you might not get, you might get rejected, I think. Draws attention. Oh, I might not get rejected? So you think they, they would want some celebrities? I, <laughs> first of all... <laughs> The fact that you think I have any celebrity status with is, uh, <laughs> girl, what you smoking? I appreciate it. I'm uh, basically riding James <laughs> coattails here. Uh, that's the celebrity self. That's why we need no, to Oh, stop it, young man. You already wear all black and the kooky hats. Let's go, dog. The red, the black, and the green. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I, the, I have actually had associations with uh, a lot of black organizations, so they already kind of know me. I don't know if the NFAC would, but I'm really not the person to have the temperament with a gun. I really, I mean, and I know that about myself because I will do something stupid. I'll do something extremely stupid. Thank, thank so, you. and then, <laughs> then. You'll be the William Wallace in every negotiation, like, I'm going to start a fight. Yeah. And he's, why did he bring a horse? Why is he on a horse? Like, this nigga got a horse. Man. Say so we're going to fight for our freedom <laughs> and die. Hey, man, we're just getting some stuff through the drive through Chill, bro. Are you sure? Did they did they let those white people go in front of you at the drive through I think we need to get the, N <laughs> the NFAC. Need to get I, I would really do some wrong shit. So I think I need a little bit more soul searching before I get a gun because I really I'm wouldn't pass the ground background check. They'd probably be like, <laughs> not you. Yeah. But I can get a paint gun. I can get a paint gun. And 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 think and put, about this, man. You know how, how evil these motherfuckers are? That they got mar they were putting marbles and shooting at people. Marbles can hurt you. I don't know understand what the fuck the cops why weren't the cops stopping these people? Didn't you did you see the did you see the caravan? On did you see the footage of the caravan? There wasn't no cops stopping them. They were shooting at people and spraying people. I'm like, shouldn't the, isn't that assault? Have, they, I haven't they, heard they, about a lot of Trump supporters getting arrested. They were pushing motherfuckers with pickup trucks. <laughs> like, that's uh, yeah. a particular... Uh, oh, you saw that too? Come on, man. That's assault. 
You're insulting people. And I didn't see the cops swoop down on them and start banging on them. That's why that double standard fucking, just like you said, it gave him water. And when, let him, when this young dude walked past, arm to the teeth, walked right past the cops, and a whole bunch of them just walked, drove right past him slowly, didn't stop him, go. And then they, only one cop said, hey, man, you can't do that. And then he raised his hands. But before that, they were chummy you know, with him. I can't stand these motherfuckers. This is an interesting point. But Pedro celebrity status is what's going to get this show popping. Nah, no, no, <laughs> no. Uh, and Eve, yeah, Eve is like, y'all laughing, but Shang really ain't joking. He really is not the dude to have a gun. Uh, Mrs. I really Mrs. Underscore. Oh no, that's somebody said what you just said, Pedro. Is that vehicle assault? That's the same thing. Yeah, vehicle assault. You said that where they were pushing them with the trucks. So uh, Mrs. Shonda uh, brings up an interesting point. That's why they teach their children to hunt so early. They train them young. And, you know, that's a real thing. Like, wow. because, you know, hunting is a thing, right? And it was essential in, you know, society growing up. Um, but, oh, and actually that, that's arguable, but essentially man learned to do that. It, European Americans in our country do that more, I think, than us, or have access to that more than we do. And the taking of a life in general to a certain population, I think, does even even the elites, right? Like they'll go out and shoot quail and shit like that, right? But essentially, they you know they just learn early to take life. And once you once you begin to equate us to animals through your rhetoric of monkey this jackass that mule that right feel that we're just chattel to them then you can see the lines how they connect in terms of how it's so easy to kill us because they've been hunting meat for a long time and at some point just flipped us to meat instead of human and uh yeah that's true we have war <laughs> mark let me give a quick we're gonna give a quick i'm looking at the time we got one more topic, but I'm going to look at the time. I want to say a quick shout out. Uh, this is Savage AF brought to you by World Famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. Make sure you follow us on the podcast version of this show, which is Savage AF. It's on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, uh, SoundCloud. I forgot about that. I'm sorry. SoundCloud. Make sure that you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I don't know why I said subscribe that way. Subscribe. I need y'all. <laughs> I need y'all to subscribe, and it is free. Y'all ain't got paid. Also, check out the website. The website is down here. Why do my voice? No, no. Make sure. No, make sure that you check out the website. It's um, iamshang.com backslash merch, um, where you can buy uh, Savage AF. Don't be average. Be savage. T-shirts, and we have masks. I had a mask somewhere around here to show you. But go on the website, you can see the mask. And uh, Sherry, thank you for hitting me up. I will make sure that I change the settings on that so you can get the mask. Because we had it two for one, so now we'll make it individual. So you can buy masks individually instead of buying two for one. So um, we'll make sure you do that. And that is actually ran by Eve underscore 7916. Is that, did I do it right? Did I say it right? Because I always fuck it up. Yep, no, you got it. It's you got Eve. It. You got it. I killed it. Okay, make sure. She is the queen of all of that, and she's the one. And then, then people are telling me to go take my medicine. Don't you tell me, squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> hey, so before we get out of here, man, um, if I can real quick, you know, part, part of uh, this, this... Go voting ahead. Mission, we got a little time, right? Uh, b b part of this voting mission yeah, is... Yeah, we got time. It's, I, I, I want to start with Florida because it's always a swing state because people always seem to be confused there. And they always seem to work really hard to suppress your vote. So I just want to give you a bit of information. And this this was just an Apple News spotlight that I that I uh, saved a few a week ago. But it, it's actually a link that will allow you to uh, look through all fifty states and and see exactly how you need to vote and when and why, how and where and why. Uh, so number one, register in Florida. Your deadline to register is Monday, October fifth. You have to register to vote by then. They literally have an online link. So if you're in, you can just Google, how do I register to vote in my state? Shit like that, right? It'll get you there. Tell them what state you live in. You can get there. But Florida, 
October 5th. Okay, that's your deadline to register. Right. First step. Got it. To play the game, you got to register, right? Sign up for Little League. Um, <laughs> number two, confirm. Make sure you've successfully registered to vote in this election. So after you register to vote, follow up. Make sure you're actually in the system and that they have your name and your information properly, blah, 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 right? Let's let, do that. Follow up. It's key. Okay? It, it works for your jump shot. You don't just leave your shot. You don't just push like this. You got to follow through. You got to follow through, yeah. Um, and what I'll do is on, on my social media, my Twitter and uh, other social media, what I'll do is I'm going to put the links up on my sites to let you know the dates and the link where you can go do it. So I'll post it on all of them, and that should hit about 183,000 people. So your in-person your in -person voting is obviously November 3rd. Um, but I want you to understand right. that you, let's get out there earlier, right? So vote by mail absentee. In Florida, where your, your President Trumpy Dumpty votes absentee, where he's saying that mail-in, and you got to have a special reason, and it's only because he's in D.C. No. In Florida... Right, I'm reading from the site. Right, I'm, I'm not just so you know, I'm not bullshit. Right? right there, it's right there. So don't give me no bullshit that you didn't know. I'm just now not, you know, I'm not just pointing to my right. You can vote by mail for any reason. Your ballot request must be received by 5 p.m. local time, Saturday, October 24th. So, to get an absentee ballot in Florida, you have to do it by 5 p.m. October 24th, okay, which gives you like the, uh, almost a week or so before uh, the election. But honestly, the way that the mail is going, you should do it way before then, right? You should do it as early as possible, which I assume is then October 5th by the deadline of, of your registration, um, early October. Right. So early October, request your shit. Request your shit now, actually. I, I'm sure you can request it now. Um, and then your completed ballot must be received no later than 7 p.m. on Election Day, November 3rd. Okay, so, but understand that they are fucking with the postal system on purpose. So these are deadlines. Fuck a deadline. Do the a headline, okay? Get ahead of this shit. Da -da -da -da. Do it the first minute, all right? Do it right now, right? Figure out right now how do I get my ballot and how, would I, how do I get it back? ASAP, right? Even circumventing the postal service if you can. You can go to your Secretary of State, your Registrar's Office, your, your Voter Registration Office, and you can deliver it yourself. Like Eve says, fuck the joy. Louis the joy. She doesn't, she's not saying fuck joy. She loves, she's a happy woman. Happy this fucking fuck the, fuck the joy. Not, not yeah, joy. Joy is a nice thing. Life, yes. But what I'm saying is, I'm right. saying fuck Louis DeJoy, the current uh, postmaster general, who's done clear things. To who's basically a Trump. Trump. He's a Trump lackey, Trump. and he Where knows exactly what Trump. Yes, he's a, he definitely knows what Trump's taint tastes like. Put it that way. He's he's definitely licked Trump's taint. So uh, <laughs> I just wanted to put that out there. But no, I mean, also, all of the information that Pedro's giving you, I will post it up on all my social media, and I'll make sure that you have it so you, it'll be easy for you, people in Florida. We start with Florida and the other battleground states after that. So each time we're on here, we're going to make sure we give you the information, and I will follow up with it on my social media. Repeating, repeating and and his it to your heads. Um, understand also, last minute, early voting begins if you want to go to the polls. You can actually go out early in Florida from October 24th uh, uh, through Saturday the 31st, which is Halloween, right? So from the so as, as early as for the, a full week before actually actually election day, you can go out to the polls in Florida and vote. People, do your research. Google is just a few keystrokes away. You don't even have to think anymore. Your brain right. is in the cloud now. Look at it. Uh, you're right, and and another thing is, another thing is, um, the like when you say, "Hey, I'm in this city," or "I'm in," the, you can check everything you need to do ahead of time. A lot of motherfuckers think, "Oh, I'll just do it around two days beforehand." Then you could fuck up. 
Do it now. Make sure you get all the information. And also do some research on the motherfuckers down ballot. And I'm talking about even locally because they're a bunch of dicks too. Don't get it twisted. So get go after them too. Even sheriffs, sheriffs, police commissioners, things like that. You can vote them out too. So don't think it's just Biden, Trump, the battle. Damn. No, it's everybody. And like uh, the, the, the turtle man. What's the turtle Bitch man's McConnell. name again? I forget. He's Bitch the turtle. McConnell. That's him. Boom. Bitch McConnell, uh, turtle man. Get rid of that motherfucker. Right. There's a lot of motherfuckers in Florida that you can vote out. So please forget that. And Eve, I know you were motherfucker here, so don't keep started. I don't even don't start with me because you know where it can go down anytime I want it to go down. I'm sorry. That's why my head got loose here. I don't know what happened. But I'm going to tell you right now, the thing is, especially in Florida, because a lot of Janky shit happens in Florida. We want to make sure that as many votes get in there as possible, early as possible. And that's a fact. Motherfuckers are always trying to pull shit. Florida actually was the tipping point between Gore. When, if Gore would have been president. Have been. Flat out. Was it? Yeah. He would have been president. Oh, wow. Eve gave me the finger. That's okay. <laughs> I still love you. I still love you. Love you know you. what? But I'm still going to beat you. That's, that's a loving finger. I'm going to take that finger. I'm going to shove it up your ass. I'm sure you like that type of shit, Eve. <laughs> I'm just being weird. I don't and know why I slowed I, down, Eve. And, I, and I'm starting to see some versus comments. So if, if y'all vote for uh, verse, if y'all vote in this election as much as we vote for versus shit, then we can we could actually get somewhere. And I, I don't know who won. Oh, yeah. I heard that that trended. It was one of the, uh, it's like one of the I biggest. It. I missed it myself. I don't know I heard if it, Brandy was the better singer. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've heard complete polar opposites. People are like, if you think that Monica can sing, I need you to flush your head down the toilet. And then other people are like, Brandy. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I don't, I don't like either one of them. So donkey dicks, dried hollow donkey dicks. She smokes crack out of. It. But I'm everybody's like, saying Monica. They were working together. That was creepy. You're right. <laughs> like, what happened? <laughs> I'm glad I'm no, I Monica, 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 and uh, Brandy. Uh, you guys put a lot of energy in, energy into that. I want y'all to still. In fact, you know what we need to do? Um, us versus th this. <laughs> I don't know what we would call it, but we need a versus. And I want to see as much energy on this fucking Instagram as you use for Brandy and Monica pretending to change in the shit that's going on in this country. So don't give me that bullshit that you weren't told. And Pedro just read it from the fucking actual website. So for you to say you didn't know, it's some bullshit. And I will make sure I put the information on the fucking page. So don't even try it. Don't give me that shit. Sorry. <laughs> I think basically from the Monica Brandy versus what we learned is that Ray J is pissed he didn't get to advertise some shit. Uh, a set video or a watch or some shit, you know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> I know, but hey, no, isn't that said, the most popular thing on Instagram? The FSU said political versus. We need to, we, we do need some of that shit, right? Like, let's, let's not just dig into that side of the culture, but let, yeah, we should hit versus up about some like other shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some debates. Yeah, other than... Now, don't get me wrong. Some of them are entertaining, uh, but, I mean, some of them they are just are. horrible. <laughs> some They're of all them. entertaining. I mean, we we even get Teddy Briley sometimes, right? It, it, it's a part of the culture now. <laughs> um, it's part of the culture now. But, I mean, I, I just see people... If you can if you can make some dumb shit go viral, like Sharkeisha, who end up getting signed to a fucking... Sharkeisha got signed. Or some dumb people that I see got signed to CAA, and we're both funny ass comics. We can't get signed to CAA, but guess what? Sharkeisha, yeah, Sharkeisha beat some girl's ass when she wasn't looking, and of course she gets signed. Like, oh, we like her. Or the girl, Catch Me Outside, got an album deal, was getting two hundred thousand dollars to show up at a club and just say on the mic, Catch Me Outside. So if y'all could do that shit. Y'all can do that shit pertaining to this. Publicity Mag came on with that old Cooney Coon shit. Watch yourself. I'm telling you right now, drop the beat. Dance off. I'm not playing with you, Publicity Mag. Steve's Apple says, sign to what? Uh, CAA, which is Creative Artists Agencies. The big. Oh, big shit. I'm sorry. Agency. Yeah, it's a. Um, they did. It, yes, it's a big talent agency. And what they're doing is a lot of people that do this kind of dumb shit. 
it sounded it, it they basically will sign them off a of dumb shit. So what I'm saying to y'all is if we can put that much energy as people of color and in general into that shit, put that energy into that. Monica and Brandy ain't gonna change shit about your fucking policies that change your life. Okay? That that corrupt sheriff ain't gonna get voted out because Monica and Brandy. And I'd like to see Monica and Brandy speak up on that shit some more. LeBron been going it hard in the Damn, paint burger. saying Damn, shit. Burger. Have you seen like he don't he's just flat out saying it and he's getting all this flack and all these people saying shut up and dribble to him and all that other stuff. He's like, fuck y'all. No, this is what it is. And he's speaking up on it. I'd like to see Monica and Brandy speak up on it more on, on some of these verses, people, because they said a quarter of a million motherfuckers watch those verses. Say something then. Money. <laughs> LeBron is in a place where, like, I, I need not dunk another basketball, a donut, I, I my toe into water. I don't need to dunk anything. Fuck you, Kraken. <laughs> but Jordan did. Jordan, Jordan, um, Jordan could have spoke out. He could have. He he is now. But it's like, yeah, uh, nigga, you. Uh, <laughs> but you don't like Jordan. It, it don't it, matter. It, you know, it's, you're it's like, like, I don't oh, fuck how Jordan. Is Johnny come lately? You know, LeBron is relevant right now. Like these these kids that are balling right now, that are standing out and speaking up, they're relevant right now. Jordan is. He he's giving money. I'm not gonna say he's not giving money now. But understand that that motherfucker was not doing, and he could have. He could have done a lot. He could have said a lot. But he saw what happened when Craig Hodges, his back, his uh, teammate, went to the White House in a in Kente cloth and spoke out against uh, George yeah. W. Bush. And uh, that shit was like uh, that nigga got deuced from the league. He got he was the first Kaepernick <laughs> without taking the knee. Uh, he, yeah, he, he, no, they 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 kick bounced him. They they bounced him and then kicked him in midair as he was flying out. But I, right now, I want to see more of the people. That's what that's what Jordan said. Too. Like, but Black Pedro. By the way, somebody had said to you said that they that Black Pedro for the Senate. On one of the quote on the, on one of my comments said that they love the show, but they want Black Pedro to run for Senate. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'll let him know. I'll, I'll let him know. They'd be like, I don't know if I want Pedro to run yeah, the I'll Senate. The but no, they want you to run. Like, y'all niggas need to vote and then leave. <laughs> I voted. What y'all doing? So no, they said, uh, she said, she said, please, Black Pedro run for Senate. Okay, I say Black Pedro for president. Slow down, <laughs> one step at a time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. One let's let's get the Senate race knocked out first, and then you know, uh, you know what? Actually, when I uh, when I the Million Man March, I actually got to uh, blessed to be able to speak at the Million Man March side the side stage, not the main stage. I spoke at the Million Man March, and it was so funny. I had because I was on Def Jam, and I had to come review a bunch of shit um, before that, and so they were like, "Man, you should really think about." you know, making a run for some of these offices. I'm like, nigga, do you know some of the shit I've said and done? They are, they kill me in the press. So, but I mean, I can use this platform to say what the fuck I want to say. And even though there's some people that keep inboxing me all the shit I shouldn't say, I want to let you know, I'm going to change my fucking mind. Sorry. I can still be a comic and an actor and still say what I want to say. And by the way, you know who else was a great speaker I watched some footage of him speaking at a college. Uh, Chadwick Boseman, really, he was, it, uh, right. by the way, uh, for the people that don't know by now, uh, but um, he, he passed away from cancer, and, but he really was inspiring. And I think that, you know, believe it or not, Dwayne Johnson is inspiring. I've seen uh, some footage of uh, Will Smith speaking. So we can use it a different way and still reach people. Um, but Chadwick Boseman really, really says some real poignant shit. If you get a chance, look it up online. It's really inspiring. It's Chadwick Boseman speaking at a, I don't know what college it was, but it was really good. I don't know if you if you guys seen any of his footage. but And also him speaking at the uh, Academy Awards. I liked what he said at the Academy Awards. Did you see that? Did you see that, yeah, Pedro? Man, you know, he did, yeah. He, the brother is uh, just... He he was he was very poignant and, and thoughtful in his speech. In his speech, you know? right, yeah. And so, 
I know, I know. I, we had talked about it before about Chadwick Boseman, but I just, it really, I've been looking at footage of him online, and he really was in interviews and stuff. He really was a very thoughtful, conscious, knew his position, knew what he could do with his position, and the whole time he was doing that, he was battling colon cancer, yeah. the whole time. And so I, I got to give props. To, I got to give props to that. You know, I think that I've reached the status where they let us go I mean, over because we're man, we did, they haven't stopped them. Say the same shit because I was like, bro, like they haven't given the thing yet, and we've been going for a thing. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm, usually we get the thing, but we didn't get um, the thing so, with the thing. So Miss uh, and everybody, <laughs> talking about it, yeah, Howard University is where uh, he spoke. Um, but uh, Bad Girl of Comedy said Denzel Washington is inspiring as well. And I, I, I don't know if, I don't know if yes. you guys uh, caught that story where their, their, you know, lives intertwine. But um, Chad was I saw that. And apparently one day he had, what was it, a tuition maybe for an acting school or some kind of bill that got paid by Denzel Washington that kind of just allowed him to continue with his life and, and continue with his career and then uh, right. at you know one of the premieres for uh, Black Panther he found out that Denzel was in the audience and they got to meet for the first time and Denzel was like you know I've seen you and you, you know you know admire your career and you're working blah 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 and he's like bro <laughs> you paid for my shit you know what I mean and they and then and then, yeah, and then, I mean, I think that's cool as fuck, man. He, is, he was like, oh, so I'm here because I owe you money. Because you owe me money. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? So there, there was a, a, a good joke, <laughs> a good moment. But, um, you know, that that was, you would think of it as a passing of a torch. But but now Chadwick is gone before Denzel, which is, and I saw, I saw yeah. a clip of Denzel where he was just like, he was at the, he, he said he cried at the Black Panther premiere. And uh, that that shit doesn't affect him like that, but usually, but um, you know he saw. He was just like, oh man, you know, from Sydney to me to this, he was like, these cats are gone. Like he, you know, he, like when you pass a baton, I don't know if you ever ran a relay race in your life, but yeah, you when you get the yeah, baton, man. you slow down and then you watch the other motherfucker take off, and you're like, yeah, dog, go get it. <laughs> My shit is done. Yeah, and I think that, you know what, I know we, we were, because we were talking about the vote, but I, I, we had a little bit more time, and I'm just going to say, I think that a lot of people that have been doing posts and tributes to Chadwick Boseman, I really like that. I really like the fact that I'm seeing people really reach out and let people know how this man was, as a man, as a man, not just as an actor, as a man. And then if you look at some of the, if you look at this movie, I watched it again, really good, 42. If you get a chance, anybody out there... If you're listening right now, he does a great job in the movie 42, and also when he plays James Brown. Okay. Now, he played James Brown with the I'm bad and good, because James Brown was I'm a little ahead, nutty. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Make I'm sure you watch that. It. Black Panther is is this iconic thing that we'll never be able to beat, but to be honest, you and me, Eddie Murphy fans, we know that coming to America kind of did that just without the action, right? So... Oh, yeah, yeah, it, it, it did. It was African prince king figure, very, pro you know, all black cast, white cameos, just a comedy, not an action movie. His portrayal, get on right. up to me, his portrayal of James Brown was so impressive to me. Like, I didn't know him like that as an actor. It's yet. really good. Um, and I'd seen 42, but, like, when James Brown, when I saw him do that, I was like, God damn, like this, this nigga got killed. Like, he like, did his thing. And I think that all of this stuff that led up to uh, Black Panther, I looked at his, his filmography. I think that he did knock it out of the park, but you're right. Uh, not that you think about it, because when you look at, uh, <laughs> even though it was funny as fuck, I think that Coming to America was hilarious. To me. But um, when they showed the kingdom there, the way that they, Walked the you way that they dressed. You know what? You it. know what was, and not to interrupt, but just to feed into that. What, no, what was, like the the intro to coming to America is so iconic to me because, and and we need to realize that that Eddie Murphy 
generated, his movies generated over a billion dollars for Paramount Studios in the 80s, which right now would be um, probably would allow us to buy Asia. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like... Yeah, it would be, it would, yeah. But when, and it's, it's, uh, Lady Smith, Black Mombasa, right, singing the South African tunes, right, um, as they go into the theme song, and they break past the the Paramount logo, and go because Paramount, right, is a, it's a mountain peak, it's a summit, is their logo, and they they break past the, the the Paramount logo into this African landscape, and it was just such a like usually the, the logo just comes up and it disappears and then you get into the movie. But they totally, it was like Eddie was beyond Paramount. Like I always read that as that. Right. Like no, and, and, and Eddie, like, and he went past the logo. Coming to America, America, coming to America was something greater than that. Um, so, and not to take. And it, I mean, Panther, Black that, Panther? That, 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 I think those are. No, no, no. I think, no, I don't think, I'm, I'm saying it, it. I think they both did it, but I think Black Panther, because Marvel um, pushed it the way they pushed it. And even though at first they didn't think it was going to do as well as it, it did, I think it fucked their head up a little bit. Um, but I think that him as an actor and him, and the fact that he was going through a lot of stuff while he was dealing with that, he was, he was dealing with it. I saw this interview with one of the. Uh, actors from Five Bloods that said his wife asked him how is it to work with Chadwick and Chadwick said he said um he told his wife he said I think he's a little precious he had all these people massaging him and when we would take a break and didn't realize he was dealing with the he was dealing with all of the you know colon cancer and how much it was fucking him up and so he was trying to fight yeah he was he was he was he was trying to fight it he was basically trying to fight it so that's what I'm saying I like the fact that he would get out there and he would go to uh, cancer wards and speak to people and, and he was touching people. And I, that's why somebody brought up Denzel. Denzel goes, when he goes to colleges, there's a, a inspiring speech from Denzel. Stuff like that, uh, as an entertainer, you can actually reach a lot of people just like that. And that was part of the reason when I first started doing stand-up, I was part of the Conscious Comedy Crew. And the Conscious Comedy Crew was me um me i'm gonna say them first it was paul mooney dick gregory no i was the young gun i guess it was paul mooney dick gregory um the the mooney twins and it was uh a comedy named d militon he was we were the conscious comedy crew we did a conscious comedy tour we yeah and i because and they they put me up it was they put they would put dick gregory in the middle and put me up after dick gregory and then paul mooney and um so I, that's part of the reason I joined all that. And I got some great press and got some good shit from it. But I'm telling you, we can, that's what this show can do too. Because Pedro just dropped some knowledge on you that you can use if you're in Florida. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're a voter in Florida, you might not have known there's a deadline. You might have thought, oh, I can come November. I can do it November 1st. I'll make be okay. Sure. No. Make sure you're you registered. Won't. Know how to get your ballot know where to go to vote if you're going to go to the polling station, and understand that you can go early. As, it, as early as October 24th. Early, yeah. In, in uh, Florida, you can go as early as October 24th through Halloween you, yep. to vote this year. Okay? Go do that. But and pay, make sure you do it early, because they are going to try to fuck with the, the, it even more. I think they're going to pull some dirty shit. Like, you, they were pulling dirty shit while removing po post office... Uh, they were moving. They were moving uh, post office machines, sorters. Um, they were li literally grabbing post office boxes and just putting them in the back of trucks. And there's a whole bunch of videos of them doing that shit. So I think they're gonna still do some dirty shit. So Pedro's right. I think you could do the shit early, just in case, because they might pull some some hey. janky shit. And I think that Trump, even when he loses, if he loses, if he loses, that motherfucker ain't going out. I think he going he gonna start. A civil war because he's he's that narcissistic. I think he'd be like, no, I won. They cheated. Fake news. Fake election. And his people have shown their nutty buddies because you saw these nutty buddies up in fucking Portland shooting at people and doing dumb shit. They, I'm glad Gertrude's in the mix because I'm telling you, I think they're gonna do Gertrude. some dumb shit. 
I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting <laughs> you know, for, and I'm glad that Pedro can shoot better for, now because my shot was, and then I'm looking for Leviathan. Yeah, and I don't even know what that is yet, but we're gonna find him. <laughs> we're gonna I'm find out what it is. But, <laughs> <laughs> name Leviathan. That's Pedro's just going when full I'm in. Next him. time I see him, he said, "Hey man, I bought these new ninja stars. <laughs> Check them out, bro." <laughs> and then I just back down. Like, hey man, that's fucking good. Gonna be like, he's going all in. <laughs> that's all you're gonna see. That's all you're gonna see. So, uh, so, so listen, they asking about D Melaton. They asking about D Melaton, Shane. Uh, can you hear me? Of course, somebody called. Wait, I can hear you. Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, you can hear me. Uh, so, but I, I really do believe that. And oh, damn, we are. We're almost right, at so, the thing. Wait, hold on. So. Hold on. That's that's coincidence. Oh, no. People are asking about D Melaton since we brought him up. Are, do you, do you know what's up with him? Because yeah, cats haven't seen him in a while, and people are wondering what's up. I saw in the uh, in the feed here. Have you have you heard from him or know what's up with him at all? I can't. I can't. I, now you went, it went lower. Say again. Do you know what's up with D Melaton at all? Okay. No, I don't. Uh, he hit me it, maybe four months ago. And I haven't heard from him since. But, I mean, Demela Thompson, he turned in basically a writer. He's a writer. He wrote uh, the black, uh, uh, a couple black uh, books on Cat Williams, a couple books and stuff. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. But, yes, his name is D. Melaton E. He's a comedian uh, yeah. that I used to work on with back in the day. I used to work with uh, back in the day. on Comic View. And, you know, uh, like a very conscious brother, literally – wore all black and a black beret and black shades every time he performed. I'm not even sure I've ever seen his eyes. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> that black I, I still got video from the... I still got the video from the Conscious Comedy Tour when I got fired. I still got the video from when I got fired because I made fun of one of the sponsors who I didn't like the fact that we had one of our sponsors was Slits Malt Liquor. And I was like, I don't know if that works for me. That don't work for me. And they fired me. Like, literally met me at the edge of the stage with my check. Like, we won't be needing you, you anymore. <laughs> Paul Mooney's Paul Paul like, they got rid of the angry yellow nigga. They let him go. <laughs> so that's what happened. I got I got to end up getting fired. But I got a lot of fans from it, so I ain't mad at it. Um, yo, we got not even the, thing, the little thing came up. We went long tonight, and it didn't fuck with us, which is something unusual. Like Savage AF brought you, I'm going to make sure I time wise, brought to you by the World Famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. Before we bounce out, I want to make sure that you guys, make sure you follow at Black Pedro. Quit asking me how to fucking spell it. That is stupid. Will you tell them it's, it, it's no, so, it's okay, so, Pedro, I'm like I'm saying, I'm it. it's not. It's spelled Black and then Pedro, put them together. Now, if you can't spell either of those words, <laughs> if, if That's you can't it. spell either of those words, I need you to take a blender, turn it upside down, put it on your head, turn that blender on. <laughs> so make sure that you follow, and don't inbox me and ask me again. Follow at Black Pedro. Also, make sure you check out the podcast version, iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify. Um, we will be on, I'm going to hurry up and do it, we'll be on um, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. Make sure you check us out. Follow Eve underscore 7916. Make sure you follow her. We, we thank y'all for hanging in there with us. Make sure you uh, follow up with Pedro. Walk, the, walk the, yeah, your gonna, vote we're gonna in. Figure it out. He'll send you we're the information. We're going to definitely do it. All right. We will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m., okay? Peace. We're out. Peace.